What up nerds, it's Jason here from Custom Cans and the time has finally come. Uh, Bear Dynamic have finally given me the thumb- ow, ow! <laughs> Bear Dynamic have given me the thumbs up to have a play with the Pro X range. So we have these in stock and I'm going to be trying a few mods, that kind of thing. We haven't actually had the DT700 Pro X in the stock before. So I'm going to start off by just doing a quick tear down, we'll see how these are made. And then I'm going to customise a pair, we're going to do a custom paintwork on it, convert it to balanced. That kind of stuff. So we'll do a we'll do a couple of videos. But first video, we'll do a teardown. Then we will make a custom pair of them, and then I will list them on the website. And uh, you can buy custom pairs then, which will be which will be nice. Because um, yeah, I've been looking forward to these. The reason why the Pro X is quite exciting to me is because I don't know if you know this, but we do a lot of sort of airbrush work, customization, that kind of thing. And these have got a really nice kind of flattish surface that I can paint on, so I can do some good stuff with this. And uh, they've also got. Uh, plasticky headband so we can paint that as well so it's gonna be really interesting to see if I can uh, do some cool designs and stuff on these also they sound great let's, let's face it they're, they're pretty good value these um yeah I've been very impressed with them so jib -jab, less jib jabber more poly a party so let's have a look uh, so the pads just unclip and so, similar looking pads to the Pro X uh, the 900, DT900, so I'm thinking they're probably the same, they look the same, I might have to compare them. So pad, pretty easy to rip off. Um, the only thing I don't, I don't know, with with the with the Pro X range you see you've got this integrated little plastic bit here, so it's just an additional piece of plastic that will need to be thrown away when the pads wear out, whereas with the more traditional bear dynamic pads they've got just one less piece of plastic, so there's less that goes in landfill when you have to change pads. Ah, it's, it's future Jason here. Sorry, let me just butt in. James just pointed out something that I didn't know. Apparently uh, he found this on Reddit, but these ear pads are reversible. You, rever you, you can basically pull out the, the center like that, remove the foam, and then wash these, put these through the washing machine. So they get their bonus points for environmental friendliness Look at that! You can you can wash the you can wash the pants. How cool is that? Yeah, so basically you just take that out, bang this in the washing machine, and then put it all back together when it's dry. Let's put these back back in. That's that's nice. That's nice. Oh, biodynamic just make, just think things through really well. It's really good. It's a really good example uh, that I think other headphone manufacturers should follow. Just having that that little just just some clever little features like that. Really nice. Oh yeah, and, and uh, before I forget, uh, if you if you like this kind of thing and you want to support what we're doing, it'd be really great if you could give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe and maybe leave a message down below, and that'll all let the algorithm know that uh, we're doing good. And uh, obviously, it gives it just cheers me up no end. So uh, yeah, give us a like and a subscribe if you if you can. That'd be that'd be brilliant. Anyway, back on with the thing. Um, yeah, so inside underneath we've got a retaining ring, and as you can see again, you've got this little piece of padding there which does affect the tuning ever so slightly. Right, so that's the retaining ring and the little cover there. So that's quite quite thick material on that. And let's do the other side as well. Yeah these retaining rings aren't quite as easy to get out as uh, as the more traditional ones. It's not too bad, it just takes a little bit extra force. Let's get that off. And then from what I remember you just tap a tapper and the driver comes out. Hey! One stellar driver, the new Bear Dynamic driver. And uh, yeah, it's quite a big, big old diaphragm on these. So it's probably... Oh, it's, well... 40 mil of actual diaphragm, like a 40 mil driver is usually a little bit under 40 mil. So yeah, don't know. Yeah, because you can't see a little bit under there. So I reckon it's probably 40, 45 mil, something like that. Oh, I've just noticed. I don't know if you can see it on there, but you've got the Bear Dynamic logo pressed into the diaphragm on the driver. Just a little flourish there. So yeah, it shows that it's not made for anyone else. It's not just another driver that they've. Incorporated it is a Bear Dynamic driver because it's got the Bear Dynamic logo pressed into the surface. Um, there's the other side. So on the back of these drivers, they've got a little rubber rubber grommet around there. 
which presses onto these standoffs here and gives the driver additional support which is going to help with additional base weight that kind of thing so it's a nice little design feature so it's been a while since I pulled these other ones apart from but from what I remember there's a little flappy tag inside there you pull on that and that should release the head pad it feels like it's going to break oh, I don't like it <laughs> yeah don't don't pull on that <laughs> I think it'll break all uh, right okay so that's the head pad out and then we got some little little screws in there so what that part have I got it's probably a T6. That's what bed and I usually use. T5. Smaller screws. Okay. See the little screws hidden under here. Two of those. Okay. Oop. that off. Sorry, my little light's falling there in the back here. Oh, that's going to upset our continuity person. Right, okay. Uh, okay, so in here we have the good clicking mechanism, as I remembered, and a little rubber band on the end of here, the same as the Pro X 900, which will absorb some of the sound when this taps against the plastic. It's just a nice little touch, you know, they just, uh, yeah. Just a nice little touch. So a little rubber rubber stopper on there that stops this from making a noise as it moves around inside the housing. And you've got the fancy clicking mechanism with a metal spring and uh well, let's get this out. How do I get that out? Uh yeah, you have to dismantle the clicking mechanism. So yeah, so this uh this clicking mechanism is the nicer one, which has got a metal spring and a I think it's a Teflon ball in there, so it's quite durable. But it just means That'll last forever, and it unlike so the Hi-Fi man's use a metal ball bearing, and what that does is it wears the coating off the metal on the inside. So if you've got a pair of Hi-Fi man headphones with a black headband, it will gradually become more silver as it wears it off. So using a Teflon bearing, which will uh, slide over it, Teflon's very slidey, it stops it from scratching up the metal. So again, it's just a little nice little touch. Uh, yeah, the Bayer Dynamic designers know their stuff. They they design stuff real good. Um, probably never get this back on now. <laughs> That's the little clicker there with a the little ball bearing in. Don't lose that, Jason. Okay, now we, that should release this. Is that going to come out now? Yes, so that's off. So this is ABS plastic made in Germany. It says it can be recycled up to 10 times, so recyclable. That is good. Okay, so now we've got the arm off. So inside here, you can see you've got the connector that plugs into the driver, which is nice and chunky. That's not going to break. Um, seems unnecessary because, um, you know, how many times are you going to have these apart? But it does mean if you pull them apart, put them back together lots of times, this this connector's phew, pucker. Uh, yeah, really nice work on that. Uh, quite thick wires going from the socket to the connector. Now then, last time, when I pulled the, nine the 900s apart, I didn't manage to get the headband off. And I believe there might be some kind of secret to getting this inner section out. So I'm going to try a bit harder this time to get those out and see if we can uh, see if we can get in there. So the connector for the driver is clicked in. Should be able to release that. Right, so the driver's released. You've got some nice little clips that hold the wires in place around the edge so that uh, it doesn't rattle around in there. And I think they've glued them onto the yeah, they're glued, clipped and glued. So that cable's going nowhere by accident, but I'm going to have to remove it. Um, yeah, I think we'll convert these to a four pin balanced. Right, if you give me a minute, I'm just going to go upstairs and unsolder these wires and loosen that nut, and then hopefully we can get in a bit further. Sorry, the disc went out on the camera, so uh, yeah, we lost, lost a little bit, but yeah, basically all I've done is I've unsoldered the headband cable from the ear cup in here. So hopefully I can get the socket out. Let's just get that out. Let's get the socket out and hopefully this makes sense. I do like the fact that they've got a little tiny round circuit board in there that, that goes through the hole to solder everything onto. It's quite clever. Just unscrewing the little nut on the jack. I can get that out 
through the hole. Ah, I see. The, 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 the connector they've chosen is exactly chunky enough to, <laughs> to fit through this hole. They've gone like, we've got a 10 mil gap. Let's get the biggest connector we can. Okay, so that's through there. That's out. Right, what I'm thinking is there's this inner plastic bit and an outer plastic bit. This looks like it's made of glass fours, glass, what is it? PA6, 30% glass fibre reinforced, so quite a sturdy piece. Um, let's just see if we can get this out, and then hopefully that's going to release the hinges and stuff, which is the bit that I didn't manage to get done on the 900X. Ooh, got a bit of movement there. Yes, yeah, so it's clipped in around the edge. I think it's got four clips. This is definitely one of those things that will be easier to build than dismantle. Oh, it's, it's coming out now. <gasps> got another layer deep, deeper than we did before. Uh, let's hope I can figure out how to get these hinges off because that's the thing that's really kind of holding me back at the moment. Right, okay. So that's out. How does the headband cable get released? Oh, and that's released the hinges. Ah, oh, this is this is good. This is the bit that I was missing. But can I figure out how to get that out? Why is that? Oh, all right, okay, okay, I get you. All right, so this <laughs> this bit basically holds everything together. And as you can see, it's got slats in there, so it'll be the same part on the 900X as it is on the 700X. And it's also symmetrical, so they can use the same piece left or right. It's got the cutout, so it'll work as a left or a right. So that's saved a bit of tooling. They've designed that so that one, because the, the ear cups have to be left and right, because the headband cable doesn't come out, comes out behind. Uh, but they've made that so it can be universal, which is good. And that also releases, that releases the headband, and it releases the hinges. So that's the hinges out. There we go. So that's the Pro X dismantled. It's pretty much the same as the 900 Pro X inside. Uh, again, I love these. I love these drivers. The way they just unplug without you have to desolder anything. It's going to make you know if anyone gets a faulty driver, it's just going to make replacing it loads easier. Just just send it out, and they can they can swap it out themselves. So now I'm going to move on to customizing these. I'm going to paint up some of these parts nicely. We'll do some some designs on them, and then we'll put them back together. Yeah, so that's it. They've come apart quite nicely. Not quite as easy to dis dismantle as the 990 and the 770, but now I've figured out how to get this bit out the middle. That's released all the what's it. So that's, that's really good. Um, it's really good to be able to remove these arms. It's going to make painting them much easier. And it does mean that we can now definitely sell customized versions of these, which is very cool. Uh, if you've got any questions, stick them in the thing and we're glad to answer them. But overall, a nicely designed, clever design. And obviously they sound great. They've got really good reviews. Yeah, so it's been awesome hanging out. Got any questions, stick them in the thing down below and I will try and get back to you. Uh, if you get a chance, give us a like. If you like this kind of thing, like it. All right, Jason out. Have fun, love your work.